Hello everybody, welcome to That's Football. Everton have officially been deducted 10 points by the Premier League in relation to uh, profit and sustainability rules being broken. 10 points. Get your comments in below. Where are Man City's deduction? What's going on? Well, let's take a big look straight away at the league table because that, of course, will show us what this means for Everton straight away. Um, they're currently having a decent season under Sean Dyche after a difficult start. Uh, 14 points from 12 games, uh, 14th place. Take 10 off, which is immediate. They go joint bottom with Burnley. They've got a much better goal difference and they'd be one win away from being out of relegation. I, uh, to be honest, I don't know. There's a few things I want to say about this. Um, we do want the FFP rules to have teeth. So let's not be hypocrites here. I feel for Everton fans because it's always the fans that suffer from the mistakes of the people who run the club. That has to be the bottom line here. I have huge empathy for Everton. Fantastic football club, fantastic football ground, fantastic fans. They don't deserve this and anybody can empathise with that, whether you're Aston Villa, Man United, it doesn't matter. But if rules have been broken, then there must be teeth because there is so much money swashing around in football at the moment. Newcastle could just buy every single player in the Premier League with the wealth that they've got. So we have to have parameters. We have to have rules. And if Everton have broken those rules, it's not the fans' fault. It's it's the people who broke the rules' fault. And therefore, there should be a punishment. Now, whether 10 points is too severe, we'd have to wait and see what the detail is. But if they are to have teeth in this Premier League for financial breaking of rules, then we need to see speed around the Manchester City movement because Everton to me this is a story that's moved from start to finish ridiculously quickly and you get your points deduction now I don't mind that efficiency I don't mind that speed if the punishment fits the crime but Man City have been charged with 115 even if half of those they're guilty of that's 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 massive and they're winning trebles and they're winning Premier Leagues and I think this is where football fans get frustrated the less you do, the quicker you get dealt with. The more you do, it rumbles on for years. It, it doesn't seem fair. It feels like Everton have broken a rule. That's easy to prove. There's your 10-point deduction. Man City break 115 or allegedly break 115. This will go through the courts for years whilst they win trebles. And, and what Man City are accused of doing is over on such a long period, anything they've done as a football club means nothing if they get done for what they did to get there. And, and there needs to be some speed around this. And also, if, if Everton are getting a 10-point deduction, Man City have got to be going down to the Diodora League or something like that, or my local pub league. I mean, they've got to, app, they've got to be kicked out of the league, surely. So I think this is what frustrates football fans, is the, the wheels of justice run too slowly. And look, there is a there is a... There is a point here to say, well, what if Man City get found, found get not guilty of low, of all of it, which some of us suspect may well be the hap may well happen because they're going to have the best lawyers. Um, there needs to be some speed around that because it will always, whether it's logical or not, it will always generate a motion that Everton are about to get this points deduction, and then there is a team that's just won a treble and it's just is going for like four or five or however many Premier Leagues in the last six years. And they're still just they're just carrying on as normal. It, it doesn't seem right when justice is being dished out to a smaller club and the biggest club um, is going to rumble this on for years. It's, a, it's hypocrisy. It is a hypocrisy. Um, and I think the Premier League may have made a mistake because if they're going to throw out quick punishments, punishments to Everton, it makes them look really weak in relation to Man City. You can't just sit there and go, well, the Man City case is a lot bigger and it's a lot more complex. So we've got to take our time on it. You're telling me out of all those 115 charges, you don't think one or two of them are strong enough to give them a points deduction? I mean, th this is what people want answers to. I've worked in this field before. You might have 115 charges. Some of them might be relatively weak. Ten of them might be really strong. Just give a point deduction. If you've got ten, you, they might have ten charges stronger than what they've done to Everton. Don't put it all in together. Get, start chucking them out. Um... They need to move quickly quickly on this because it's the integrity of football that's at stake here. And if I was a Man City fan, I'd want it over quickly as well. 
you know, you don't want to feel that everything you're doing isn't going to mean anything because you're going to be, you know, kicked out of the league and have your titles took off you in a few years' time. They do need to, um, they need, they do need to run this a lot quicker. Um, but we're here to talk about Everton. Get your comments in on everything. What are your thoughts about it? I, I suspect Everton have broken a rule, and therefore they've got a points deduction. And I don't mind that. I just feel sorry for Everton fans. But I said this the other day. I'd heard they were going to get a deduction today. People were saying, stop spreading fake news and this and the other. I was like, well, I'd heard they were getting a deduction today and they have got a deduction today. And if they hadn't got a deduction today, I would have been wrong. But it's not 12 points, it's 10 points. To be honest, only Everton know what they've done. Apparently, they're going to appeal it. I'd take it. I Personally, I would take it. I mean, if you appeal it and it gets upheld and it takes a year to appeal and you get your 10 points next year, you won't have a Premier League as weak as this next year. Like, you can take a 10-point deduction, your joint bottom, one win, you're out the bottom three. Like, it's, it, you're not going to get into Europe this year. You might do well in the Cups, that's not impacted like this. Everton this year is about not getting relegated. You can take a 10-point deduction and you'll stay up. I, 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 to be honest, I don't know what they've done, and it might be controversial to say this, and if they haven't done it, then you must appeal it. Of course, justice must be served. But if they know they've done something wrong, take the 10 points. It was meant to be 12. Take the 10, put your joint bottom with Burnley on four, win your next game, you're out the bottom three. Um, they'll be out of the bottom, they'll be out the bottom three by Christmas, like even with the 10 point deduction. And then you stay up, you've taken your punishment, you move on. But I'd need to know what's going on with that. Of course, the big thing for me as a Man United fan is guess what Everton's next game is? At home to Manchester United. They could be bottom of the league, injustice, at Goodison Park, angry, Oh, who's coming into town? United, who are crap away from home. So yeah, that that's a bit of a there is a, there is a, there is there's a kickback for me as a Man United fan as well. But um, yeah, look, get your comments in below. What are your thoughts on this? As I say, I'm not gonna, I'm not, you know, I think the the charging of Arteta in a footballing sense is a joke. And I'll talk to, I've got an England watch along tonight where I really want to get into that because somebody today was on the radio saying everybody who mentions referees should just be charged now. I mean, what sort of dictatorship bullshit is that? But on this. I want financial fair play to have teeth. I want clubs who cheat to be punished. Um, but Everton seem to have done something very small and been punished very, very quickly. Whereas Man City have been accused of doing something massive and might not ever get punished for years. That, to me, just doesn't feel right. Get your comments in below. Let me know what you think. Smash a like on video. I'll speak to you tonight for Everton. Uh, not Everton, for England tonight. Speak to you in a bit.